The dream of the future, especially in the 1980s, was faster, cheaper air travel. Concord, as it was known back then, was acclaimed as the plane to beat in the 21st century. The average flight time from New York to London is 7 hours, but the Concord can make the trip in just 3.5. Of course, we now know that this plane was plagued by several issues. It was incredibly loud and disrupted the peace of locals as they flew overhead, and fuel was costly, limiting their range. Since it was also claimed that the plane was immediately depleting the ozone layer, optimism regarding the possibility of a supersonic flight was diminished. But what if we told you there was a new supersonic plane in the works? And this is where Tesla's supersonic vertical takeoff and landing jet comes in. Elon Musk's worthwhile machine that he has dreamed of for many years to finish building and carries so much potential in the advancement of air travel. Welcome and this is Tech Tank Titans. And for today's video, we'll explain how Tesla will soon cause major changes in the aviation business. But before that, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and might as well hit the subscribe and bell button if you'd like to see more of us. But other than that, let's begin. The trend for electric vehicles has picked up speed and with good reason, they outperform their internal combustion engine counterparts in speed and cost of maintenance and are quickly approaching greater equality in price. We have never witnessed even the beginning of the switch to electric planes. Why? Mostly because modern batteries can only store so much power. Even with EVS, batteries currently cannot provide enough energy to provide an airplane for its whole journey. There is still a long way to go before a single charge can power a long road trip. On the other hand, Tesla has been working on a battery that has far higher density than existing lithium-ion batteries. Many battery specialists believe that vertical takeoff and landing, also known as VTOL, is only possible if battery densities reach 400 watt-hours per kilogram. Exactly as it sounds, it's the capability of piloting an airplane in a vertical trajectory and landing it with the ease of a drone. Many military planes make use of this innovation since it allows them to take off vertically even when there isn't enough room to do it horizontally. If the aircraft's sail percentage is high, only about 400 watts per kilogram are necessary to make it compelling to fly. If it is somewhere around 70% at 400 watts per kilogram, you can achieve a pretty respectable range. This is significantly less than what's required for a rocket. According to Elon Musk, in about 3 to 4 years, we will be able to achieve 400 watt-hours per kilogram with long cycle life and high production volume. And when battery density improves, he's ready to make his VTOL jet concept a reality. Additionally, Elon Musk often mentions in his several interviews that designing an airplane seems like a daunting task. On the other hand, he has a better design in mind that possesses a thrilling opportunity to use a supersonic jet that takes off and lands vertically using electric propulsion, eliminating the need for a runway. Therefore, his plan for a Tesla VTOL jet sounds promising so far. The high cost of fuel, the plane's noise, and the ozone-depleting nature of the gas all contributed to the Concorde's failure to become a mainstream airliner, as we mentioned in the beginning of this video. The future electric jet from Tesla solves all three of these problems at once. For one, electricity is significantly less expensive than fuel, and at worst, it will only have an impact on purity with gas planes running at regular speeds. Furthermore, electric vehicles are far quieter than engines, as proved by electric vehicles. EVS are so quiet 
that substantial debates have been held about requiring phony engine sounds on all electrical automobiles. In other words, if we go down here and put it in drive right now, you'll hear this kind of hum. We think it's safe to say that the passengers would all be happier if they could fly without being subjected to this noise. Because it's powered by electricity, the plane would also inflict minimal, if any, harm to the ozone layer. When considering electric planes, these considerations make complete sense. Generally speaking, the higher in altitude you fly in a gas-powered plane, the less efficient it will be. However, electric planes become more fuel efficient at higher altitudes. This has enormous potential, as Elon Musk has mentioned before. As Elon Musk prides in his new invention, a VTOL electric supersonic plane is the best possible air transport solution for a variety of reasons. In particular, the higher you fly, the better and more efficient the electric is on an electric airplane. In contrast, a combustion aircraft's performance degrades with altitude because the air intake and intake hole of the engine have fixed dimensions. It's inefficient because of the need to slow the air down to prevent supersonic combustion which occurs when the air is compressed at high altitudes. However, electric aircraft would only improve with altitude because they are more efficient at higher altitudes. As you ascend in altitude, the air becomes thinner and the air resistance decreases, allowing you to travel at supersonic speeds far quicker than you might think possible. Finding a technique to receive sufficient air is essential for efficient operation, just as it is for engines. However, this is not the case with electric aircraft, which can increase their speed as they ascend since they experience less air resistance at higher altitudes. When pitching his Hyperloop concept, in which he aims to construct a supersonic train built inside a tunnel, Elon explained why it would be far simpler to fly faster in space than in the atmosphere. When traveling at high speeds, the atmosphere looks like molasses and the plane needs to be at a very high altitude to avoid it. For flights of less than about 500 miles, you'll be doing a lot of climbing and gliding and not much cruising. Estimating the speed that an electric plane would go is really difficult because technology is still in its development. Thus, a Hyperloop can compete very well in that area because you reach a low-pressure environment instantly or very almost instantly. Rolls-Royce had been planning to develop an electric jet capable of speeds of up to 300 miles per hour, but Tesla's better battery technology and aircraft design would allow it to easily outspace that. The market leader is forced to make a decision whenever a new technology enters the fray. Should they put all their eggs in the digital basket or continue with business as usual? The demise of once dominant corporations like Nokia and Blockbuster shows that even the most innovative businesses may settle for a second best. Since we know this is a common thing, Boeing and Airbus could soon face competition. Elon reasons that this is the case because modern businesses are justifiably fearful of taking any risks. Until you're disrupted, the plan makes sense. Boeing and Airbus are more inclined to make small tweaks to their planes than make major changes, so it's unlikely that they'll be the ones to introduce this. When battery density increases to the point where supersonic flying is possible, only then will an electric plane be a practical option. Furthermore, Tesla's mission has always been to hasten the world's transition to sustainable energy. And to do so, the business must disrupt the aviation industry. On the other hand, let us know your thoughts by sharing in the comment section if you think Tesla will be able to compete with Boeing and Airbus. Is it more likely that Boeing or Airbus will adopt the technology or 
Will Tesla surprise the established players in the airline industry by releasing a game-changing Vito jet? Feel free to share your ideas and we'd be more than glad to join in the conversation. But besides that, thanks for watching. This is Tech Tank Titans. And if you find this video entertaining, please give us a thumbs up and hit the bell and subscribe buttons as well. If you'd like to see more of our content we have for you about the latest technology and stock market news. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video.